Hello, remote wolfies. So here we are. It's March 5th, and we're getting ready to finish up the year. You'll notice in my email, I sent you a question. How do you want to finish the year? Plan A is keep going with eyelid. It's working fine. I'm going to finish the year this way. Plan B is plan B. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You will be looking for your learning targets and what has been done so far. And then you're going to choose assignments that you need based on your learning targets and only do the learning targets that you need. Plan C is to read the book everybody listens to and take chapter notes on each chapter. So I recorded the first three. I'm not going to keep doing that. Uh, you're going to continue reading the book on your own and taking chapter notes based on what you read each week. Now, this is fiction. So in order to pass the class, you would have to have all the eyelid assignments I already gave you uh, and continue with the chapter notes, three chapters a week. Uh, and then at the very end, you're going to do a presentation on the book. So three options. Plan A, keep going with eyelid like we're doing and have all the interactive readers and little assignments. Plan B, the yellow playlist in Empower. Or plan C, I'm going to read the book, finish up all my eyelid assignments and do a presentation at the end of the book. Okay, so let me show you what I have put in Empower. Under remote uh, learning, you'll notice here is the chapter notes. So um, there's a Google Doc there. You're going to upload two green dots into your locker and you're going to add your chapter notes every week. That means you need to upload the big list of all the chapters and just add the three chapters a week um, for each week, okay? So um, I will now show you plan B. Plan B is the yellow button playlist. And here you will notice that you have a bunch of learning targets. So in order to find out how or what your progress is on your learning targets, you will notice the very first button, it says how to work it. And that has how to look up your learning targets, see what your score is and find out which ones you need. So we have 10 learning targets. The first one is listening and talking. This is why I want you to join me um, in Zoom each week so you can talk to me. Otherwise, I don't know. Um, I've never heard you speaking. So you need to be Zooming with me each week. Uh, connections has connections to myself, connections to the world, connections to characters, connections to topics. Context clues is being able to use the rest of the sentence to figure out the meaning. Uh, word analysis is poetry, songs, uh, specific words and idioms and proverbs and what we call dichos, expressions. Uh, naturally, sentences. So this is where your interactive reader gets um, graded. So can you write in complete sentences? Can you use proper mechanics and periods and commas? and small, medium, large, and extra large sentences. A presentation is something that you're going to present, a video uh, of you talking or presenting live with me on Zoom. So there you would have uh, some Google Slides and be able to explain something really well. Um, this one is main idea. So being able to tell what is the main idea from an article, what are the details, examples, explanations, evidence. Again, this is your interactive readers. 
uh, research is being able to research some information, like you had a weather assignment where you looked up different kinds of weather problems uh, that influence how people um, have to take precautions when it's icy or snowing or super hot. Uh, expository is being able to explain something really well. Interactive readers, here we go again. And the last one is vocabulary. So can you use uh, academic vocabulary to explain things? So um, in these learning targets, when you open one up, you'll be able to see that you have a bunch of choices. So um, do you want to use vocabulary.com? Do you want to use Quizlet? Do you want to write a five paragraph essay? So you can see in um, the choices there, you can upload assignments and pick and choose what you want. So the most important idea is that you need to be able to show me that you can do these assignments. So I'm gonna pick a student who is no longer in our school and if I showed you this learning target browser where the arrow is, our class is ELD. And then you need to filter this because we don't have 40, 50 learning targets. Oh my God, no. Plus you're in LA1, not newcomer or LA2 and three and four. So we're gonna filter it. And when you look at the playlist course, that's where you switch it, okay? So here you will be able to change it to language acquisition one and look at the learning targets that you have so far. If you have a two, you only need another solid piece of evidence to score you a three. If you have a 1.5, you need two more pieces of evidence to score you a three. So in order to pass a class, you have to have all the learning targets and you have to have 80% of them at a score three. So eight out of the 10 need to be a score three. And the last two that remain, it's okay to be a two, 2.5, but you can't have a blank. So I'd like you to look at your learning targets and see which ones you need. If this is too complicated for you, don't do plan B. Uh, stick with uh, eyelid every week, and that's fine. If uh, you would rather get into a book, this book, uh, which is somebody that everybody listens to, if you look at your library and find the book, type it, you can search it right here. Um, and once it's up, it will stay up and you don't have to look for it again. And there you will see that you have pages. This is pretty cool because it jumps you to the chapter. So if you look at the table of contents and you're on chapter eight, it'll jump you straight there. I am not going to record <laughs> 400 pages of book. Um, I just got you started. Okay. So um, it's a really interesting book about a music, uh, a person who wants to be a musician. And so uh, another cool thing on the buttons is that you can click words and it would, um, you know, give you the meaning of the words. So it's a nice way to enlarge your vocabulary. And um, in your... Let's see, move this out of the way. In your chapter notes, you would write down what did you learn about the chapter? What did you read about? And um, make connections between the people, how they relate to each other, what happens, what causes something, and what are the results of the something. On the bottom there, you're going to write a reaction for it. You're going to use a quote you can copy paste and put the quote in here 
and then analyze the quote and tell me what you think about it. So in order to put this into Empower, uh, you would, uh, first of all, go to your locker. Uh, so in this remote learning playlist, you will notice that here is the chapter. And um, when you open this up, uh, this screen is different from yours. Uh, let me change it to yours. Uh, so here's action. You have to do something. Uh, the little button that has Google Drive on it, um, this thing right here, it takes you to your Google Drive. You would make a copy of the chapter notes. And then in number three, the chapter notes on your Google Drive, um, green button, when you click it, it gets green. So in number two, you pick it from your drive. And in number three, you put it in your locker. And for attendance each week, I'm going to go see if you are doing the three chapter notes. Okay. So this is what we're doing to finish the year. Let me know which plan you want. That way I know what to look for because uh, we're all over the place. Um, and I don't want to be spinning my wheels on that. Okay. So good luck with that. Let me know if I can help you.